Hey guys, welcome to the long-awaited bonus episode of Let's Play Creature from the Krusty Krab. This is another um, project that took me a long time to get to, but you know I'm finally getting to it. And so, um, I'm just going to start off by showing uh, the big stuff, you know, so that way I'm not wasting people's time like I did with my DK64 bonus episode to show that I have learned from past mistakes. And I will say that that bonus episode was not, you know, the best way I could handle things. But anyways, um... I just wanted to show you guys, this is the uh, extras menu um, from the main menu. And so there's a lot of cool stuff you can do here with the post-game stuff. First of all, we obviously have cheat codes, which is a really nice feature to have in a video game. You know, in case you want to skip through stuff that you don't want to go through. But there's also some other things that you can change with this game, mostly cosmetics. Um, first of all, we have this menu right here. Um, and cheat codes are going to have a lot to do with this. These are bonus items that you can activate, and again, these are mostly cosmetic. There's nothing special about them. In fact, some of these I need to unlock myself, but I'm going to be showing all of, you t all of them to you anyways. But um, basically, all the stuff to the far left are the characters and their normal s characters, vehicles, and effects in their normal states. Because the three things that you can change in the game, um, cosmetically, like ch with cheat codes and whatnot, are play are the characters, effects, and vehicles. So, and this, you know, depends heavily on the level because, you know, each level has its own set of cheat codes with, you know, cosmetic cheat codes that you can put in. So we're going to put in all of them real quick so I can show them all to you guys. Starting off with the uh, Diesel Dreaming cheat codes. Um, first of all, if you type in Sponge, you will get this. Grr, check out a new look for Spongebob and Diesel Dreaming. And this will give Spongebob sort of a, sort of a punk look. You know, in Diesel Dreaming, if you, you know, and you activate it. So, yeah, that's basically what happens if you type in Sponge. You can activate this uh, Punk SpongeBob effect, which is basically a costume for him. Actually, actually, I should probably show you guys um, how typing these cheats are. And because some sometimes typing these cheats in can be annoying, because basically what you do is you you don't have, like, a keyboard or anything. You just have to, you know, roulette, roulette through these letters. Well, not really roulette, because that would be kind of random. But, like, you know, you just have to pick the letter you want so the um, next thing we're gonna type in is flames so I'm gonna show you guys how long it can take sometimes to enter some of these cheat codes you know especially with the longer work letters but I'm gonna do one with you know less letters that way it's not I'm not showing not like showing the whole, the entire long process but you know just to give you sort of an idea but if you enter flames in you will get the effect for diesel dreaming which is, look, for the new flame effect for Spongebob's Hot Rod and Diesel Dreaming. Alright. So, if we... So, that's the effect for Diesel Dreaming. Actually, no, I'm not going to into... <sighs> okay, let's just go through all these. For the last cheat code for Diesel Dreaming, we have Hot Rod. If you type this in, a new paint job for Spongebob's Hot Rod and Diesel Dreaming. There we go, there's that. Next up, we have the Starfish Man to the Rescue Cheats. First things first, if you type in Patrick, you will get... You've unlocked a new tuxedo costume for Patrick. Alright, next up we have... For the other cheat code for Starfish Man's Rescue, if you type in Spin, get Patrick in a spin and see his new POW for Starfish Man's of the Rescue. So yeah, since there's no... And since there's, this is a platforming level, there's no vehicles in uh, Starfish Man's of the Rescue. So... You know, that means that there's no third cheat code to enter. So, moving on to Super Size Patty. Now, there's actually two costumes that you can unlock for Plankton in Super Size Patty. And the first one is Pants. You've unlocked a SpongeBob costume for Plankton to wear. And now, if we type in Invent, we will get Invent Invert the Quantum Phase Dubers. It's a new Plankton costume for, for Super Size Patty. Alright. <clears throat> oh, and by the way, if I haven't mentioned... Actually, I haven't mentioned this yet, and you guys have already seen them as we've gone along, but basically to show off what these cosmetics look like, I will display them on screen as I'm, you know, um, showing the, uh, you know, uh, entering in the cheat codes. So, you know, that way you guys can see what they look like. So, they're not... Most of them aren't really all that interesting, but some of them are pretty hilarious. But, you know, for the most part, it's just something really cool you can do with your post-game stuff, but anyways, not without wasting any more time, let's move on to the Alaskan Belly Trouble cheat codes. Um, we have just one for this one, it's a costume for Spongebob, so let's enter that in real quick. If you type in Krabby, 
A new and spooky costume for SpongeBob in Alaskan Belly Trouble. Okay. Alright, next up we have Rocket Rodeo. And so, let's enter the cheat codes for that. Now, since Rocket Rodeo is a... a Since Rocket Rodeo is a uh, level in which you're riding a vehicle, that means that there's going to be three cheat codes. So for the first one we have Safari. Dr. Patrick, I presume? Mount an ex expedition to Rocket Rodeo to see Patrick's new costume. Next up, if you type in space, is that a UFO? No, it's a new paint job for, Pat for Patrick's rocket. Alright, there we go. Also, one last thing to note. Um, these are not... A capital sense in fact you can't really thankfully you don't have to like enter in capital letters or anything because they're all letters are capital so um, you don't have to worry about that at all all right anyway anyways moving on to the next cheat code and this is the last one for rocket rodeo next up if you type in rockets you will get remarkable a new rocket laser for Patrick's rockets yep so we get a uh, a little laser effect for Patrick's rocket and rocket rodeo. Obviously, some of these words are actually pretty obvious. Like, obviously, rocket's in the title of the level, so you could probably think of that cheat code anyways. But, you know, anyways, without further ado, next cheat codes. And these are the ones for Revenge of the Giant Plankton Monster. So first off, we have robots. And typing this in will get you be a gigantic plankton robot for Revenge of the Giant Plankton Monster. Yeah, some of, these, some of these cheat codes are pretty pretty cool, and this one is no exception. Alright, next up we have... Laser, because, you know, you're firing your laser in Avenger Giant Plankton Monster. I give up. Alright, you've unlocked a new color for Plankton's Atomic Eye Laser. See, so yeah, that's a nice little effect that changes the color of Plankton's laser. Basically, I think it changes it from green to blue or something like that, but still looks pretty cool any, either way. Next up we have the It Came From Bikini Bottom cheat codes, and the first one we have is Pilot. Chalks Away, a new costume for Spongebob for It Came From Bikini Bottom. Yep, it's a nice little, nice little costume. Um, even though the thing is that you're actually, for the most part, when you're playing this game, this level you are, like, Old Man Jenkins is kind of like behind Spongebob and you're, and it's a third person perspective, so... You can't really see the costume that much. It's best seen in the cutscenes at the level, but it still looks pretty cool. All right, this ne next one is pretty funny, actually. It's pretty. It's a pretty hilarious cheat code. Next up, if you type in duck gun, and yes, this is a real thing. What's better than lasers? Squeaky ducks. Check it out. And it came from Bikini Bottom. Yep, it's literally a a gun effect for. It came from Bikini Bottom, in which you shoot ducks out. It's pretty gruesome if you think about it. It really is. It's just as gruesome as you think it is. Alright, next up we have one cheat code for Rooftop Rumble, and that is... Next up we have Pirates. Ahar, me mateys. It's a swashbuckin' Patrick's in Rooftop Rumble. <laughs> I can't really do the, the pirate accent really well. But that's okay. I mean, like, it's pretty ironic because the game makers are making Patrick new pirate, and yet they're against piracy. Okay, that's a terrible joke. Lastly, we have the Hypnotic Highway cheat codes. And there's actually a set of cheat codes for each character, because you know how you can play it as SpongeBob, Patrick, and Plankton? Well, each character has two cheat codes. One for one for their, a costume for them to wear, and a second one for their vehicles. Actually, no, I take that back. That doesn't apply to Plankton. Uh, for Plankton, there's only a paint shop for his vehicle, but there's no costume for him since he's small, I guess, or something like that. I don't know. Actually, that wasn't the case for Super Size Patty, but then again, he was normal size. But anyways, enough of that. Let's do SpongeBob first. So first we type in... Brain. And yes, this is exactly what you're thinking of. If you're thinking of that, of uh, the episode Scaredy Pants. A frankly disturbing new costume for SpongeBob to wear on Hypnotic Highway. In fact, when I'm thinking of it, pretty much... Both Patrick and Spongebob have, have disturbing costumes in uh, Hypnotic Highway, so I'm just going to say it right now. But first of all, let's do the paint job for Spongebob's car. And that would be Hip Car. Broom Broom, a new paint job for Spongebob's hot rod in Hypnotic Highway. Yeah, it's, it doesn't really change it that much, but it's still like it's a really cool effect, I guess. I always turn on these, these effects and then play through levels again, so I guess it's enough... 
I guess that's one way they had you play through levels again, was just by giving you all these cosmetic changes that you can do to the characters and vehicles or something. I don't know. I guess it's just a kind of a cheap way to get you to play the game again. But it's it works. Either way. Alright, now for Patrick's cheat codes in Hypnotic Highway. If you type in Bones, you can do just that. Hypnotic Highway just got even weirder with Patrick's new costume. You can do exactly... Basically, it's the same It's the same costume for Patrick that Spongebob has in Alaskan Bullworm, basically. So, yeah, not very creative, but it kind of goes with the theme of Hypnotic Highway anyways. Alright, next up we have the cheat code for Patrick's Rocket. This next cheat is Bun Run, and this will give you a paint job for Patrick's car in Hypnotic Highway. Whoosh, a new paint job for Patrick's rocket in Hypnotic Highway, not his car. Are you stupid, man? I guess I am, apparently. And now for the final cheat code. Drumroll, please, as I enter this in. And yes, I'm going to actually make you guys sit through me entering this last one in. Just for the heck of it. Actually, no, it's technically not the last Chico we'll be doing today, but this is the last cosmetic change that it does. You've unlocked a new look for Plankton's Hovercraft in Hypnotic Highway. I don't know why, but for some reason it doesn't specify that. And those are all of the cosmetic cheat codes. And you can, uh, once again, you can adjust them in here. Um, I think actually, the moment you enter in the cheat codes, it automatically activates them for you, but you can deactivate them by pressing left um, on any of these menus, so. It's really nice, actually. I like it. But, um, yeah, you guys, I showed you guys those effects as I was entering them in. Um, hopefully in separate videos, so. Um, you guys got to see those. Alright, next up is the shop. Basically, remember all those Sleepy Z's we were collecting throughout the game? Well, this is where they are useful. Basically, you come here, and you mash the A button until you have everything in this in this shop. I am, I'm not kidding at all. And you cannot tell how much stuff there is at the shop or like how many sleepy Z's you need anything like it. The, the shop literally doesn't tell you anything besides the fact that you have to spend a hundred like everything in this shop costs a hundred sleepy Z's for some reason and the game literally doesn't tell you um, how much stuff there is to buy, but it does let you know when you've gotten everything. Basically, this is what, we'll, what you'll get after you've bought everything. Amazing! You've managed to unlock every single thing the shop has to offer. You really are the greatest SpongeBob player who ever lived. Wow, I suggest that you go and have a nice slide down, maybe some cake. Have you found all the sleepy Z seeds, though? I think this will it will give you this mes message if you haven't gotten all the sleepy seeds yet, which I, which I technically haven't. But for some reason, like, I can't find that last one. I know where it is. It's in the... Uh, it came from Bikini Bomb. There's this uh, area where it says there's a Patrick Sleepy Seed. Um, but no matter where, I couldn't find it at all. Like, it said that there was one in there, but... Like, like it was letting me know that there was one in that area. But I couldn't find it at all. Like, it never... It doesn't show up anywhere. So I don't know what that's all about. So if you guys know anything about it, let me know. But other than that, I have all the sleepy seeds, and I showed you guys where they all are, so... Yeah, there's that. But anyways, I want to go back to cheat codes, because actually there's more cheats. There's other cheats you can enter, and one of them has to do with the shop. And that's why I wanted to show you guys the shop real quick. Um, but first things first, let's uh, let's go through all these other ones. There's uh, eight more cheat codes I can show you guys today. The first one is Gajion. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But basically what it does is... You've unlocked every world in the game, well, apart from the one that doesn't exist. <laughs> and the funny thing is, is that pretty much none of these levels exist because they all take place in dreams, so... <laughs> I don't know, it's still a pretty funny joke. Well, then again, Bikini Bomb does exist, and so does the Alaskan Bull, but whatever. Alright. Next up, if you enter Pork Pie, and yes, uh, pretty much all these miscellaneous cheats have nothing to do with the with what they if what they activate but they just they just make no sense but they're still you know I guess kind of funny like some like pork pie here but basically what it does is bonus feature unlocked it unlocks all mini games and difficulties and I will get into those in a in a little bit but next up we have a very very helpful helpful cheat code if I'm gonna enter it real quick and show it to you guys 
If you enter in Scootles, you will get this. What a remarkable bonus feature. It doesn't tell you what it does, but what it does is it gets you all the sleepy seeds in the game. So if we go to, uh, you can go to game status and find out how many of them you have. But, yeah, right here, game status. As you can see, it says I now have all the sleepy seeds, even including that Patrick one that I can't seem to find anywhere. Um, but, yeah, it's a very helpful cheat if you don't want to go through the trouble of getting all the sleepy seeds. Um, but these uh, these next cheat codes, are they're, they're, they're cool and very helpful, but they're not all that interesting. Well, I guess some of them are, actually to think of it one of these is actually extremely helpful but let's move on to the next one next up if you type in tissue the sleepy seed detector it warns you of nearby sleepy seeds as you play even though this cheat is completely useless because the sleepy seed detector is already available from the start of the game i don't know if you guys saw it but you can actually see it before, like, you've seen it um, at various times in my Let's Play when I'm getting close to the Sleepy Seed. You can see that thing going off. Like, it tells you right there on the screen. In fact, I might, I'll hopefully remember to put in a, a screenshot here showing it to you guys. Or, like, a screen video or whatever. Whatever it is, okay? Either way, this cheat code's useless because it's already available from the start of the game. So, we're not going to go much, any further into that. This next cheat code is called Rockfish. And this cheat code's very important very important it's it's very helpful to say the least remember you know the shop how the game doesn't tell you how much stuff there is in there well and you don't and so you don't know how much how much sleepy seeds you need now i'm someone who collects every sleepy z they possibly can like i collect every one that's on screen and still the majority of the time when i'm done playing through the game i still don't have enough sleepy z's to get everything in the shop. Well, this is your solution to this. This is Rockfish, and if you enter it, you've been given 30,000 extra Zs. No kidding. So you can literally, before you even play the game, you can literally just enter this cheat code and just buy everything in the shop right away. But again, it's literally just sitting around for almost, what well, seems like half an hour tapping the A button until you get everything. That's literally what the shop is about. I'm not even kidding at all. That's literally what it is. So, yeah, it's probably one of the lamest shops in any video game I've ever seen, but, I mean, like, it's kind of cool. You get, like, these kind these cool jellyfish animations and whatnot, but, like, it's not anything special. Like, I might show it to you guys real quick. Uh, I don't know if I have the footage for it. I'd have to play through the game again or to... I'll show you guys footage real quick of it. But yeah, as you can see, it's it's really, you're just tapping the A button for half an hour, at least, so. Anyways, whatever, we got three more cheat codes, and these are basically infinite codes. They basically give you infinite of a certain uh, element in the game. So, starting off with Gassy, which is the only miscellaneous cheat that actually makes sense as to what it's called. Now your fuel will never run out in flying worlds. Yep. Very helpful if you don't feel like collecting fuel on those flying levels. Simple as that. Next up we have Vigor. Very handy. Now your health will never run out in platforming levels. So basically you have infinite health. That's all there is to it. And now for the last one. And this letter out letter layout makes no sense whatsoever. Like wait, this is not even a word, at least from what I can see. But if you guys can, let me know in the comments below. So by entering this uh, combination of letters that I can't seem to make a word out of... Wait, what? Okay... Alright, I guess I read that wrong or something, but there's supposed to be a cheat that, um, that's, that looks something like this that gives you infinite time on driving levels. So if you're having trouble in Diesel Dreaming, and I have no idea why you would, um, you can just enter whatever this cheat code is. I can't seem to get to work for some reason. Alright, so I guess maybe it doesn't exist after all, but somewhere there's supposed to be a cheat code that gives you infinite time on driving levels, and that's the case, and go ahead and use that. But yeah, that's all the cheat codes I'm going to show you guys for today. Now we're going to go back to the shop real quick. Um, if I can go there. There we go. <coughs> so, basically you're probably wondering, what do you buy, what exactly do you buy at this shop? What exactly do you buy here? 
Well, for one thing, some of the things you'll buy will be cheat codes. Like, it'll tell you what the cheat codes are, even though you can already enter them anyways. But also, the main purpose of the shop is, by, is, you'll see if you press L here, it will take you to this gallery where you can see a bunch of video game artwork. It's kind of basically the, the equivalent to the theater in Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bomb, except you don't, except you don't have to play. Actually, you kind of do, actually. You, have to, you do have to pay a crap ton of money to use it. You know, just to see everything, though. So you're buying... You're buying... For, you're basically you're purchasing the merchandise that's going to be here instead of the actual thing, but yeah. So basically, there's 17 different uh, slides. Or no, not slides, but... Uh, like... How do you... 17 different category or whatever things here. And um, basically what they are is most of them have five um, different concept art pictures, like from the you know creation of the game. These are the things that I was actually using. You may notice that some of these, some of this art was actually present in the Let's Play, in uh, in the outros. Yeah, these are the. This is basically where those where those outros came from. These basically these things here. Um, yeah, the, the pictures you're looking at right now are the ones that the exact ones I used in the outros for early on the Let's Play. And also, in addition to that, you can also um, go to the right here. Some of these, not all of them, but some of the most of these uh, slides do have uh, music, uh, song, songs like two songs at the end of each one. So, yeah, basically, there's pretty much music for the entire game here. So this is basically your sound test in your gallery right here. So that's all there is to it. It's I'm not going to show you... Well, I guess I could... Sh uh, I don't know if I want... Hmm. I'm debating if I want to show you guys everything. I could just show you, like, one thing from each slide. Like, there's Diesel Dreaming there. Um, there's Patrick. Uh, Starfish Man's to Rescue. You know what? I'm just going to have you guys buy... Go on and buy the game yourselves and buy everything and, you know, see them for yourselves, you know? Because, you know, the point of Let's Play is not, is not to discourage you guys from getting the game, you know, so... I should just leave that to you guys to discover for yourselves. Um, so otherwise, um, you can. There's also um, uh, there's videos. Yeah, you can look at videos here. You can like um, Avatar. No, this is not what you're thinking. This is not the 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 awesome movie that came out in 2010. Nor is it or 2009. Was it 2009? Yeah, 2009. Or the awful, terrible. Last Airbender movie came out around the same time. No, this is the Avatar Last Airbender video game. So you can see a clip for that in here. I'm not going to show any of these videos because, you know, copyright, come and get me. <laughs> um, right here we have the Barnyard video game, which I definitely did not do a Let's Play of back in summer 2011. So definitely do not check that out in my playlist. Uh, now you might say I just, I just did some advertising for myself there, but... No, I told you not to go watch it. That's the thing, though. <laughs> but yeah, seriously, this is a this is actually um basically an advert aver a teaser for the uh, um barnyard game that I did a let's play of. So check that out if you want to. SpongeBob DVD collection seasons one through three. Definitely check that out as well if you want to. Lego SpongeBob just just basically random teasers there. I guess that they got paid to put in this game or something like that. I don't know. Last thing I'm going to show you guys in this bonus episode is the bonus games. These are the mini games that we played throughout the um, story mode. And there's not really much to them. You know, they're not really much different than they were in the actual game, aside from the fact that you can now adjust the difficulty. There's, And the difficulty varies on each one. Like, there's easy, hard, and bonus on, you know, the Venge of Giant Plankton Monster minigame. And for Meteor Mania, there's just easy and bonus. And with a uh, scrap scramble, we have easy, normal, hard, bonus. And here we have Pounce and Patty minigame. This is the last minigame. So we got easy, normal, hard, bonus, very easy. So you're probably wondering, what is bonus exactly? Well, think of the think of it this way. In hard mode, the target for um, the pounce and pound and patty is like 22 or 25, somewhere around there. 
Well, bonus is 45. So comparing these two, basically bonus is very, very hard. And that applies to all four minigames. But I just wanted to give you like an example of how much harder bonus is than any of the other difficulty modes. But yeah, it just... Bonus is basically just a very, di very, just a difficulty spike is what it is. It's much harder than act than act the actual hard difficulty mode. So it's you don't actually get anything get anything special for doing them. It's just something if you want to cha really challenge yourself because those are actually challenging. Like actually, I'll, I'm gonna do bon pouncing pan pound and patty in bonus difficulty real quick. In fact, actually, why don't I just go through all four of the mini games? Yeah. But yeah, we're done with all the big stuff in this bonus episode. Um, so, for those of you who don't want your time to be wasted, you don't want to, like, you know, waste time, you know, watching me do st irrelevant stuff, just like in my DK64 bonus episode, I'm not going to, you know, encourage you guys to continue watching, you know, for those who are impatient, you know, because I've shown everything that there is a special, so. Yeah, the target is 45. This is actually really difficult to get. I had... A lot of trouble with this like I could never get this the closest I could get was 38 literally so that's how hard it is like someone with as much experience as I am has mu this much difficulty with it that's how hard it is so I mean I don't need to do my own horn or anything but I do have a lot of experience with this game and I would I wouldn't consider it unfair to call me an expert at this game but yeah these are actually really hard these bonus difficulty levels so if you really want a challenge, go for it. Otherwise, look at this. 42? 43. Yeah, I didn't win. I barely lost this. You know, whereas in the hard mode, it's just 22. So it's not really that hard after all, you know. So I guess, like, all the other ones that... All the other ones are the ones that you play through in the... Uh, in the actual story mode. The bonus one is just something that is the b difficulty that you can only play here. Alright, so now we're going to try Meteor Mania. But, you know, again, you guys don't have to watch beyond, you know, the cheat codes. There's really, really nothing special here. Alright, next up, Meteor Mania. See how difficult, th difficult this is. The goal is... Actually, no, there's no, there's no goal. I guess you just have more time, I guess. Alright. Fair enough. It's probably going to be a lot more meteors, though, it looks like. Yeah, I can already see all of them. Dang. Shoot. Alright, just need to make sure you press the right buttons here. Pay very close attention to the things on these. Oh, man. The Dang, they hit you with a lot of meteors in this thing. Dang. Alright. I'm actually struggling. Well, yeah, that's the point of the bonus thing, dude. Seriously. Ah! Dang, this bonus episode is going to take me so long to edit. Dang, we just we already lost him the shield. Yeah, see, normally, if you guys recall, in the in the actual bonus... Uh, that, dang, I can't speak today. In the actual uh, story mode, I, I managed to get through this without losing any shields. But look at this. Whoops, Space Station took a bit of pounding. That means no bonus Zs for you back on the rocket. See how difficult that is? It's really difficult. All right, next up we have Scrap Scramble. All right, see how difficult the bonus is on here. Dang. All right. Oh, look. <laughs> look at SpongeBob. Okay, so apparently um, they give SpongeBob a makeover here with the... Um, and I think actually it's how he looks if you do the... Um, if you actually enter in the cheat code, Bones, that's what he looks like. Or, uh, not Bones, but, uh... Um... What was... <laughs> okay, I'm drawing a blank here. I need to focus on this. Yeah, whatever the cheat code is that makes Spongebob nothing but Bones in Alaskan Belly Troll, that's what you get here. Yeah, you just... They make it as difficult as they can on you here. Like, they don't even give you a chance to get all those gold sleepy Z's. Like, screw that. You're not gonna get those. That'd be nice... <laughs> See, you can maybe, like, you can actually... I think here it's, like, easier to get the minigame itself. It's just hard to get the sleep, the golden sleep easy is the issue. Yeah. Alright, so we're doing alright. But, yeah, this is probably the easiest of the bunch. And yet, still, I'm going to suck at this. Okay, there we go. 
Alright, can this get any more boring, man? Alright. There's a golden spatula. If only we could collect that. Then we'd have 101. That means we have 101% in Battle for Bikini Bottom. Which would be awesome. Can't argue with that, personally. Hey, dude, you're going the wrong pile. Don't be going to... Ah, uh, it's a junk disaster. There's bits everywhere. That means no bonus Cs for you. What a mess. Yeah. Tell me about it. Do I dare even take on the last one? What are they going to do for that? I mean, what are they going to do for the... Wakey, wakey... Shaky, shaky minigame? What are they going to do for that? What can you possibly do to make it extremely difficult? Let's see what they're going to do here. They're probably just going to make the building extremely tall. Well, it doesn't start off with... Uh, Oh, shoot. Wait, what? That was odd. Start off with the wrong button, I guess. Alright, maybe I can do this. Maybe. Let's see. They can't make the di bun difficulty... I mean, they can't... It can't be the bun combination that's more difficult, because that's... That's as difficult as it got in the, uh... In the actual minigame. Let's see if I can get this, though. I'm sure they give you plenty of time. I guess another thing about the bonus minigames is that they're also like more unforgiving as far as like giving you sleepy Z's, you know. Not that we need more since we bought everything at the shop, but you know. Alright, we're gonna get this soon. For all knowing my luck, they made the building extra tall, so that's probably what makes it more difficult. Ah, oh, shoot! Wrong wrong way, dude. I was trying to start off at the right instead of the left. It's not the right thing to do. <laughs> Get it? Uh, Game with my terrible puns here. Alright. How tall is this building, man? This is taller than that freaking tower in Dubai. I don't remember how tall. Dang, man! That building really is tall. They made it so small, so tall. You didn't find the cry pie in time. He's no bonus Z's for you. Well, thanks, I guess. All right. Well, everyone, that's it. That is all I have to show with Creature from the Krusty Krab. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. And I'm sorry this the, this bonus episode became another victim of my procrastination. But you know, thankfully, the fact is I got it done and I got it out to you guys. And so, um, I don't think there's any more bonus episodes for me to do for Let's Plays. All that's left to do is actually, yeah, is actually finish um, some un old unfinished Let's Plays. And the first game I'll be doing is Metroid Prime, because I'm very excited to see the end of that game, since it is my um, only blind Let's Play I have currently going on. So, um, I, I hope you guys are excited as I am for me to finally get back into that game, because I'm going to start tomorrow. Like, I'm not even going to wait. I'm going to start tomorrow, so... I will see you guys next time for Metroid Prime, unless you're watching a different Let's Play after this. If not, then see you guys in my next Let's Play. Thanks. Bye.